Russian President Vladimir Putin initiated a large-scale nuclear forces exercise on Tuesday, involving simulated missile launches as Moscow sought to underscore its nuclear capabilities amid heightened tensions with Western nations over Ukraine. During a video briefing with military officials, Putin outlined that the drills would simulate the actions of high-ranking officials in a scenario involving the potential use of nuclear arms, including test launches of ballistic and cruise missiles designed for nuclear deployment. Today, we are conducting another training session of strategic deterrence forces. We will practice the actions of officials in managing the use of nuclear weapons with practical launches of ballistic and cruise missiles. Putin, who has previously warned Western nations against intensifying military support for Ukraine, reiterated that Russia's nuclear arsenal remains central to its security framework. I will immediately note that Russia confirms its fundamental position that the use of nuclear weapons is an extremely exceptional measure to ensure state security. At the same time, we are well aware that it is the nuclear triad that continues to be a reliable guarantor of the sovereignty and security of our country, allows us to solve the problems of strategic deterrence, as well as maintain nuclear parity and the balance of power in the world as an objective factor in global stability. He emphasized the importance of maintaining advanced and combat-ready strategic forces, citing rising geopolitical tensions and emerging security threats. Given the growth of geopolitical tensions, the emergence of new external threats and risks, it is important to have modern strategic forces that are constantly ready for combat use. We will continue to improve all their components. We have the resources for this. I emphasize that we are not going to get involved in a new arms race, but we will maintain nuclear forces at the level of necessary sufficiency. In line with Moscow's nuclear strategy, the Kremlin continues to modernize its arsenal, focusing on missiles with enhanced precision, reduced launch times, and advanced counter-defense systems, according to Putin. This year, their equipment with modern weapons has reached about 94%. In accordance with the state armament program, we will systematically transfer the strategic missile forces to new missile systems of fixed and mobile basing, which compared to previous generations have higher accuracy, reduced launch preparation time, and most importantly, increased capabilities to overcome missile defense systems. Defense Minister Andrei Belusov added, the Tuesday's exercise aimed to practice a coordinated nuclear response to a hypothetical adversarial strike, simulating a strategic offensive retaliation. Comrade Supreme Commander-in-Chief, in accordance with the training plan of the Russian Armed Forces, under your leadership, a training exercise on command of the Russian Armed Forces is being conducted, during which the strategic offensive forces will train launching a massive nuclear strike in response to a nuclear strike by the enemy. The exercise involved the launch of a Yars Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, ICBM, from the Placetsk launch site, hitting its target at the Kura Range on the Kamchatka Peninsula. Additionally, the Novomoskovsk and Knyaz Oleg nuclear submarines test-fired ICBMs from the Barents Sea and Sea of Okhotsk, while 295 strategic bombers launched cruise missiles in a further display of Russian nuclear readiness. Comrade Supreme Commander-in-Chief, the following are involved in the training. A strategic missile submarine of the Pacific Fleet, a Yars Mobile ground-based missile system of the Strategic Missile Forces, a strategic missile submarine of the Northern Fleet, two 295 MES strategic missile carriers of long-range aviation. In recent statements, Putin has cautioned the United States and NATO allies that allowing Ukraine to employ Western-supplied, long-range weaponry in strikes on Russian territory could draw NATO into a direct conflict. He also referenced a revised nuclear doctrine that could extend a nuclear response to include conventional attacks by non-nuclear states backed by nuclear powers, an apparent warning to Kyiv's allies. Tuesday's exercises 
follow a year marked by escalated nuclear drills, including joint exercises with Belarus, where Moscow has stationed some of its tactical nuclear weapons. This ongoing show of force aims to bolster Russia's deterrence and signal its willingness to respond decisively to perceived threats.